hello guys in this video i'm going to show you the overview of the new miui 9 ported for our device eureka it's based on lollipop still 5.1.1 that's a bit uh, disappointing but i don't mind because lollipop is the most stable one for our device and what works and 4g works pretty fine and the speeds also is decent so it's based on the dominator formula x kernel and custom kernel is not supported as of now the developer has said that it in future it might get the update to support custom kernels all right so mu9 or in general miui is a fairly popular custom rom for a lots of devices especially xiaomi ones and it has tons of features on its own and it's very customizes customizable also so first we'll go into the display option you have the system font options so you can see i've kind of uh, changed the font right now it's the mobi express one the default is this uh, me landing so while changing the font your phone may reboot it does reboot so is option you can see it pulse notification light but it's a bug in this rom it's the only bug that i faced or it's the bug of the rom in general uh, so notification LED doesn't work at all and there is no fix as of now but it doesn't is not a deal breaker but maybe for some it may be so if you like don't mind the LED notification bug it's all good then there is wallpaper options so there are tons of wallpapers available in the miui you can also find more for the online wallpapers and a lots of themes as well as you see there is asphalt tons of themes for our so this is also one of the many features or advantages of having a miui for your device so there is a sound and vibration lock screen and password there is also some like lock screen shortcuts yeah you can let me just show you if you just slide right so you can see there is a two option it might not work for our current device but there is this torch option which works very fine just turns on the torch so it's very handy and swiping left you have the camera also wake lock screen for notifications so whenever a notification arrives the, your screen will turn on so you can use this in like in place of the notification LED all right so there is also the notification and status bar options uh, you can like uh, toggle the connection speeds right now you can see there is it is showing on kvps and also like uh, turn on the percentage these are the settings for the like you can right now you can see it's showing the like 765 mb is 2 gvf available so you can turn this on from here this second space is like you are having like two user account in one phone you can use that if you want but in performance so in my users i use this phone from 100 to 30 percent and uh, it like continuous with 4g on and brightness at about 30 percent so it lasted me for about three hours so from 100 to 30 percent it gave me about three hours of battery backup it could go on one hour more i guess so four hours you can so battery backup is really is not an issue with this and miui roms are pretty battery efficient so you can rest assured about that also me mover app there's a quick ball you can control your device with this little ball here it's really great if you don't want to use the hardware button you can use that also one-handed mode you can just shrink your screen 
4.5 inches or something you can just swipe here all right i don't think it's working i don't know it's not working for me right now and you can just sign into your me account for better me services and the best is the dual apps you can just use to whatsapp to or whatever you want and that's really awesome dual apps is one of the latest feature in this like in the new and feature you can use it to have two instances of facebook messenger anything you want so yeah that's great there is also a built-in app lock so you don't have to like uh, go on using different third-party app locks it is pre-built and yeah that's it for this it's pretty stable this one you want bug that led notification notification bug other than that it's pretty awesome uh what it works pretty fine just let me call and go fine so there's no problem with quality message also works everything is pretty smooth i've been using this rom for about three four days and it's been giving me a good battery backup and decent performance also the memory gets full it may get a bit like at times it may get laggy but other than that it's pretty stable for the most part and also battery backup is good and of course uh, some apps you may find that's uh, incompatible like not incompatible like they're not working like they're supposed to so you just have to like go to the settings uh, go to the permissions where is it and like be sure to provide the permissions it needs like for me this beam app wasn't working like it wasn't like it uh, didn't uh, verify my numbers or something so this was uh, deactivated like denied like uh, by default so you have to enable it so if you think some of, of your apps are not working like share it uh, in particular share it or gender you can just go inside them and give them the proper permissions from this permission app then it will work just fine for you be sure to do that like the display pop up for this AZ screen recorder wasn't working, but now it does. So you have to go and uh, provide the like the permissions for some apps. So if you, you find some apps are not working, you can just go ahead and give the permissions to them. So yeah, I think that will be it, it for the review. Also, if you are wondering about the camera, it works pretty fine. And uh, my like I have increased the system partition of my ROM like my phone from the Anna Bathina 2 so that's why I think it's working pretty fine like it's a really uh, like a high size ROM like more than 600 MB so it will be better if you increase your partition then flash this ROM but it works in general also as I think you can find more info in the forum I will link down the the address of the U forum in the description Thanks for watching the video, I hope you like it and subscribe to the channel.